Oh, wow. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. So much excitement. I know it's the Fed chair meeting, right? I know. I know. I know. I know. We got Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Uh, Deeds. I mean, yeah. Forget about me. I know. It's not about me. <laughs> okay. So today, on the final day of Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, I'm excited to welcome some special guests to the briefing room today, Pop Phenom BTS. Woohoo! Woo While many of you may know BTS as Grammy nominated international icons, they also play an important role as youth ambassadors, promoting a message of respect and positivity. After this briefing, they will join President Biden in a discussion about Asian inclusion, representation, and diversity, as well as addressing an anti-Asian hate crimes and discrimination. As many of you know, the president has led a historic whole of government approach to combat racism, xenophobia, and tolerance intolerance facing ANHPI communities. Beginning his first week in office when he issued a presidential memorandum, leveraging the power of the federal government to stand against this hate. The president also signed the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act into law, signed an executive order to reestablish the White House Initiative on Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders, and funded critical research to prevent and address xenophobia against AA and NHPI communities. So without further ado, I will I will let the the band take it from here. They're gonna each speak. Uh, we have a, a, a t interpreter somewhere here. There you go. Good to see you. Um, so they'll each speak first, and then the interpreter will come back up and interpret what they just said. They're not gonna take any questions. They're just gonna come here and, and give some give some um, some words, and then we'll start the briefing. Thank you. Thank you, Karen, for your kind words. And hi, we're BTS. And it is a great honor to be invited to the White House today to discuss the important issues of anti-Asian hate crimes, Asian inclusion, and diversity. 네, 오늘은 AA NHPI Heritage Month의 마지막 날입니다. 어, 저희는 AA NHPI 커뮤니티와 뜻을 함께하고 기념하기 위해 오늘 백악관에 왔습니다. 네. 어, 최근 아시아계를 대상으로 한 많은 증거 범죄에 굉장히 놀랐고 또 마음이 안 좋았는데요. 어, 이런 일이 근절되는데 조금이라도 도움이 되고자 오늘 이 자리를 빌어 목소리를 내고자 합니다. 네, 오늘 저희가 이 자리에 올수 있었던 것은 저희의 음악을 사랑해 주시는 다양한 국적, 언어, 문화를 가진 되게 팬, 아미 여러분들이 계셨기에 이 자리에 올수 있었다고 생각합니다. 정말 감사합니다. 네, 한국인의 음악이 서로 다른 언어와 문화를 넘어서 어, 전 세계 많은 분들께 닿을 수 있다는 게 아직까지도 좀 신기하고 어, 근데 신기한 것 같습니다. 그리고 이 모든 걸 연결을 시켜주는 음악이란 건좀 참으로 훌륭한 매개체가 아닌가 싶습니다. 어, 나와 다르다고 어, 그것은 잘못된 일이 아닙니다. 옳고 그름이 아닌 다름을 인정하는 것으로부터 평등은 시작된다고 생각합니다. 네, 우리는 모두의 각자의 역사를 가지고 있습니다. 오늘 한 사람 한 사람이 의미 있는 존재로서 서로 존중하고 이해하기 위한 또한 걸음이 되기를 바랍니다. And lastly, we thank President Biden and the White House for giving this important opportunity to speak about the important causes remind ourselves of what we can do as artists. Once again, thank you very much. Oh. What does it mean to you to come to the White House? We're going to go. We're going to go. We're just, they're not going to take any questions, but thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Oh. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, I don't know how you're gonna 